Welcome back, Wild Family, to another episode of Wild Women Wet Shaving. It's another episode that, you know, came and it went. So let it come and let it go. fantastic female wet shavers out there you know aside from myself we decided to do a challenge and it was uh, the second chance challenge <sighs> for this challenge I use British Barber Association shave butter 420 aftershave balm rebels refinery beard oil slash pre-shave oil this Merker and Shark Razor Blades. I think I would sum up this wet shave to being pointless. I don't know why, but none, I can't actually say none of these products, but three out of the five products I probably wouldn't use again in our the British Barber Association shave butter. How do I describe this? Lifeless. There is no energy in a shave butter. It doesn't froth. It doesn't foam. You just apply it to your legs like a moisturizer and then you shave. If I were to give that shave cream to somebody, it would probably be to one of those friends that's like eighth on your call list on a Friday night. Next, the Shark Razor Blades. I used to give these grief because I was not ever a huge fan of them. They're okay. They're the razor blade you reach for when your Balzanos are out, when your superiors are out, when your iridiums are out, when your Balzanos are out, when your feathers are out, when your Kais are out, when you're all out you grab a shark. Whoever decided to design a razor that has absolutely no grip, no hold, no little indents, no nothing, the nicest way I could sum you up is an idiot. <laughs> now for some positivity in this shave. 420 aftershave from Van Ule. It's herbal, which we all know that I love. It's aftershave balm, so it's that liquid texture. Oh, 
It smells great. It's made with love. I love this product. I will continue to use it and continue to buy it. So merci Vanille. Last but not least, the Rebels Refinery Beard Oil slash Pre-Shave Oil. It's more expensive than it would ever need to be on this face of the earth, but mind you, it really does its job. It smells good, it performs well, and because I knew I wasn't going to have the most glorious shave, I figured I would do all that I can to make sure that, you know, there is a little, you know, something, something going on that it can't all be bad. Last time I shaved with that shave butter, my legs looked like the cow from Apocalypse Now. It was just, it wasn't good. Most of the time when I use that Merker, well, I actually shouldn't say most of the time because I think I've only used it three times because I don't like it. Um, would I use any of these products again? No. For a second chance, it's my last chance. They'll just remain in that when I'm out of everything drawer, I'll use it. Again, Wild Family, thank you for the growth both here on YouTube and on Instagram. It's so lovely to see. Enjoy your cup of tea, enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and I will see you beautiful people next week. Bye.